There's 42 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Rozier from outside. Rebound by Middleton. Here's Milwaukee. They lead by seven. To the paint. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And Giannis with the dunk. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Gigantic bucket from Butler. Closed the door on that shot. And an intentional foul right there. Fourth personal foul. Third team foul. At the line. Giannis Tittacumbo. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. The resume Giannis has built already is impressive. And he's nowhere close to being done adding to it. And he's unable to get the second one. Butler against Middleton. Pass to Jovic. Beyond the arc. Tips it. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Coaches trust Adebayo, and he's being rewarded. This guy has done everything they've asked here, and then some. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Your thoughts, guys? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. You worry about executing the next play. Tyler Hero steps up and delivers big time. They've won it. Next stop, conference semifinals. And they delivered an epic performance, sweeping this best of seven series. Thank you. Cleveland to the paint. Mobley dishes to Mitchell. Outside Garland. Now on the screen for Garland. Takes a shot at the elbow. It's good. And now they decide to foul intentional. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. This is exactly what comes with having the basketball late and becoming the focal point of your team. For Donovan Mitchell, making these free throws is critical. It's the Knicks now. Brunson draws the double. Here's Ananobi. Got it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. What a baller this young man is. Ananobi, even though he's young, he looks like a veteran in the club. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. 13. Second one is good. In both at the line. It's a three-point game. That last free throw was a huge, huge shot. The difference between a two and a three-point lead at this stage is major. And now they foul and stop the clock. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And this is why this team trusts Garland. They know he's confident and capable of taking those shots. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. It's a foul, no choice but to stop the clock here. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Well, the physical gifts of Isaac Okoro are evident. Now it's about what are my best skills and what can help me become a real rotation player in the NBA. Randall from outside. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. What a performance through the entire first round. Thank you. Once Great again. sweeping in four games. And they really had a tremendous series. Watching how well these guys played as a unit has got to be scary for their round two matchup. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge.
he passes to Harris. Oubre with it. Jacks up a three. Hits the three-point pop. And hey guys, he just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted. And that's why it's going to be on to the next round for the 76ers. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. And I clearly think they showed uh, to be the better team over the course of the series. Hey, anytime you can win in five, I, I mean, tonight, of course, they are way out in front. You, you take a lot of that mojo into the next round. We'll, we'll see if they can keep this same sort of competitive attitude as the stakes get higher. The competition also gets tougher. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jairus Max. Oh, he was at the center of everything that happened in this game. His energy was felt throughout the building, and his impact, well, it was incredible. Now here's MB. Five to shoot. Over Claxton. And MB gets it to go. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now. Getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. And they do it. They'll yes. move on to round two. Click the belt. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Bruno Fernandez. This guy has a reputation for being a great free throw shooter. And you've got to knock him down. He does it here. And Young, and here we go. And Okonwu has it in the corner. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. And you know they wanted that one to go down. Let's prove it time. Fourth quarter. Don't get it done now. No more chances. Now here is Holiday. Persingas sets the pick for Holiday. Passes it to Persingas. And four! So much later. Got the cut to Kevin. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. For three, Murray. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Coming up clutch. Murray loves having the spotlight on him. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Two foul. At the line. Thanks and Kane. At the line for two shots. the first and that gives them a four-point cushion well tatum does look ready prepared to do what he does best in the clutch get buckets yeah the crucial part of those free throws is that it now makes it a two-possession game kicks it out to bogdanovich money and he has brought them to within two points this guy can do so much for you on the offensive end and that is why his number gets called time and time again they foul intentionally that's what they have to do at this point no choice but to foul there but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see him line. Yeah, Derek White has a reputation for being rock solid. You'd like that to show up right here with a big free throw at stake. That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. Johnson for Third on the first, and that will put them up by two. You think about what Jalen Brown brings to the table. Elite athleticism, three-point shot making, attacking the rim in transition, so much to like. But it doesn't get much bigger than that. A perfect trip to the line to give them the critical three-point cushion. What poise. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. Thrilling fashion, guys, taking round one in what's... Screen on Caldwell Pope. A kick out to Towns. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. 
Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Finally against Murray. And they double up Murray. Out to the wing. They're outside. Gets the three to four. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Conley for three. Jokic grabs the miss. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shoot. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. He's able to hit the second one, and that puts them up by five. Well, known as a 3 and D guy, the leadership Caldwell Pope provides is so important for this squad. Kept alive. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Oh, no, I know. And he hits both free throws here, and it's an eight-point ball game. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved, keeping everyone engaged. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's just terrifying coming down the lane. I mean, when Leonard is attacking with ferocity, man, the D has to foul. So he gets them both. And now we've got an intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. This is who you want at the line, and Booker gets himself there a lot. And you never want to say never, but in this case, yeah, at this point, I don't even know if divine intervention could turn by six. 17 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done. Hard misses. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. You look at Durant's game, and you instantly see all the hours of hard work that went into shaping it. He's so polished in every area. His skills are so sharp. Man, that one's good. Man. series in round one. They sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Fox against Curry. Money. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. Quick shot here. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He was encouraging his guys, telling them, quote, just continue to run through the plays. Explore the options. You're doing a great job. Now just focus on finishing this one. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Now here's Kaminga. Man. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Minga against Fox. From deep. Oh, he knocked it. It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. Curry with it. Fires from deep. in their last outing and the same thing here tonight he is in a terrific groove right now seems to be nobody standing in his way no roadblocks for him to get to his spot capitalize and continue to be aggressive and with that win they'll be moving on to round two they really took control of this series in impressive fashion
46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. With the 10-footer, shot's good by Moran. Morant's got 30 points. And tearing them to shreds tonight. You know, when a player as versatile as Morant starts going off, look out. LeBron and Davis, the two stars for L.A. on the floor. They're the three and the five. Rui Hachimura is out there with Austin Reeves. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four slot. That's the Laker five. Smart finds Morant. The lead now in single digits. Morant not afraid to get in there and play big, showing his toughness in close. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. James outside. And with that win, they'll be moving on to round two. And with this win in game six, they've won the series. They've got to be. Those in one place can be real backbreakers in a close game. And it's Mitchell with a ball for the Cavaliers. The lead is two on the court right now for Cleveland. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, man. Proving to be a true leader in these spots, Mitchell embraces the chance to sink these important baskets. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Milwaukee has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Lillard against Mitchell. Let's the three fly, and he buries it. Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings it within one. Mitchell against Lillard. Outside for Levert. Let's go with a three. Oh, he drained it from downtown. And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. And Lillard puts up a deep three, and it's in. And that one brings him within one. Somebody's really crucial to Levert's development, as well as his desire to take on more responsibility. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Here's Lillard. Cash. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings him within one. The stakes don't shake Lillard at all. He stays cool and finds the clutch basket. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, it's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Anadokounmpo outside. The three won't fall. And so the Cleveland Cavaliers have won the series. They snuff out any chance at a comeback with the Game 5 win. Now it's... Joel Embiid is out there with Paul Reed. Then it's Maxi. Then it's Buddy Heald. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Brown. Pocket six. Horford, a screen on heel. White, the pass to Horford. Allen rolls around and rims out. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Embiid from outside. Oh, nails the triple. Never want to turn down the big moment. Joel Embiid knocks it down. Uh, Tyrese Maxey gets the whistle that time. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. The and his free throw could have blown this one. Nice way to finish the game. Free teacher. Give it up once again for your Celtics entertainment. So it's Philadelphia now. They get the rebound. Murray and Brown are the guards. Jordan is out there with Jokic, and it's Watson in at the small forward position. Booker dishes to KD. Jokic a screen on Jordan. Durant, it's in! And that shot brings them to within just one. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. And I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Passes it to Jokic. 
43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. At the line, Jokic went very productive. Found him. Might not have been the right move here. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Right side, Beal. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. That shot, no good. Here's Denver now. The guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Murray for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. A three and nothing but a three will do here. Now this is all from the perimeter and outside the arc here. Good job on the glass there, working hard to establish position and put himself in a great spot to come away with that rebound. Honestly, just doing what Hag free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. KD, that's for two. Kicks it out to Al. Puts up a deep three. Misses. So the Nuggets win it. I think. Here's Moody. Takes the three. Wood grabs the board. Christian Wood out there with Anthony Davis. And there's Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Austin Reeves. And it's James in at the shooting guard position. That's the Laker five. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge It's stolen by Curry. And here's Green from the arc. Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by James. And so the Los Angeles Lakers take the series and will move on. It's a So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. A bit of heroics at the line right there as he bumps their lead to three and makes things a little easier for them defensively. And so the Boston Celtics take the series and will continue. These guys have played so hard, endured so much, and you can just see how absolutely excited they are to be headed to the finals. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. Yeah, and, and so close, and they can practically taste it right now, but, but it's not going to be easy. Those next four wins are going to be the... Murray, no good. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball in the three-point lane. Gordon against Davis. Denver grabs the miss. Now, here's Jokic. And the Los Angeles Lakers win the series the and the will game. move on. You know, they had to battle through the very tough Western Conference, but they were able to survive the test and earn a trip to the final. From day one, this was their goal. Make it to the finals. But really, this is just the beginning for them. Yeah, it, exactly. And, you know, they'll take a moment to, to kind of bask in victory here, but, but it won't be a long one. They know they've got a very tough opponent coming for them out of the East. Vanderbilt misses. And here's Boston. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Pritchard. And pushing it out. Here's Los Angeles. Here's Reeves. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First free throw is good. At the line for the Lakers. No good on the second free throw. Here's McKayla. The emotion, the exhaustion. Excitement that really can't be matched, but pretty 
amazing to have accomplished this goal. The celebration is here, and this place is going crazy. The bench loves it. This is one of those moments these players will never forget. Let's go to the floor. Here is Adam Silver presenting the Larry O'Brien Trophy.